Good afternoon guys, it's Jenny here from Just Jenny Journaling. Welcome back to my channel. Quick share today, um, I thought I'd just switch the camera on as I've decided to, um, well, making a quite a late start on my autumn day book. And like last year, um, I've decided to just use a, to repurpose a book cover. And um, I'm going to do a no sew, kind of just tying the three signatures in, one for each month. So um, this one is going to be for September, October, November, with plenty of room to grow, I hope. The, the cover, if you can notice, is absolutely beautiful. It's um, a book about vintage shopping, a modern book about vintage shopping. Uh, vintage clothing but uh, so I've decided to use that because I just love all the colours absolutely adore the colours on this um, started did make a start not gonna lie and um, I did I got some from uh, this printed hand printed silk from my uh, stash that I've been working with um, and some lace that none of this isn't any of it's not it's not vintage but some lace from my stash um, this I picked up at a charity shop a little while ago. Don't know how old it is. It's not vintage, vintage, but it's not brand new. And I tea dyed this lace. And that's going to be for the closure. Um, and then I used the silk on the inside and popped the muslin um, across the spine. As you can see, I was very gung ho when it came to the glue. So some of the glue is showing through. Um, had it been for one of you guys, I would have actually been really careful and, and carefully placed this onto card stock first and then glued it on. But I didn't. I just went for it. And I will be covering some of this anyway with other bits and pieces. So, first and foremost, what I thought I'd turn the camera on to do the share with or of is actually just correcting the front. And I'll do a little pocket on the back. Um... I got a bit carried away, so I glued the little panels down on the front, as you can see. Hold on, let's. And uh, then I popped them overnight under some really heavy books. And what happened then was I started to adjust the books just after I'd um, glued them down. And the result of that was that this here was a, it's just a little bit wonky. It kind of adjusted and I didn't realise, so you can see where it's higher on that side and lower on the other, which will be quite annoying over a long term, to be fair. So I'm going to correct it and I'm going to just, I've placed these little vintage, they're not vintage actually, uh, they're from the works, but these hard metal embellishments. A little bit of extra lace and from this, this is a little snippet that I picked up this lace trim and I've just fussy cut a couple of pieces and I'm just going to glue and use these to um, just go over the front and make it sort of even it up a little bit so let's have a look I've done a photograph from where I placed everything um, Diane H does that, which I think is a really good idea. Diane Hubert on YouTube. I think her, hmm, Etsy's called The Pretty Pink Cottage, but I watch a lot of her videos, and that's one of the things that she does when she's placing things. I think that's a good idea. So, 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 so. I've actually, for a change, I'm just going to glue, put a, pop a little bit of glue down, and I'm just going to pop a bit of glue down on the top here and as you see I've cut where are my scissors let's cut a little bit more just going to cut the edge like so and I want to go over this bit the top the top and I'm just going to so Fabritat you'll be relieved to know so I straighten that up a little bit You'll be relieved to know that I'm actually using a new Fabri-Tac. Because those of you who know my videos, I'm sure I have a chuckle when every time I go to do... I have to put a tiny little... just going to put a tiny little dot on there, to be fair, to secure that. Because I'm going to 
every time I go to turn the camera on to do a share, I realise that my fabric tack's coming to an end. It's really gloopy. And it takes us about 10 minutes as we all sit and watch it come to the bottom of the bottle. So I thought I'd spare you that today. And I think, oh, do you know what? I've been, I've placed it on my cutting mat just to make sure it was, just to make sure. Yeah, it's too high now. That's it. So I'm going to pop that like so. And that's going to even at the top. So it's just a tiny bit. Can you see? Yeah, it's going to eyeball it. And I will put that bit just there. Just a tiny bit first. Just a tiny bit. So just that ah, there you go there you go and then the idea then is i'm going to place now that bit kind of goes like that doesn't it uh yeah that bit goes like that and that bit that goes there like so is that there is that how it works it's a bit lower down well it's quite a lot lower down actually Let's pop that like that. Is it near there? Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So let's just glue that very, very briefly. I'm going to do it quite lightly because I'm going to um, pop the butterfly over the top and secure them with brads. And so that will basically help to secure it like so. Yeah, like that, like that. This piece, have I done it wrong? I have done it wrong, haven't I? Yeah, this piece, that bit goes across here. Ah, 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 ah. No, that bit is that bit there and goes across. Ah, that's more like it. Oh, dear. You can tell I make it up as I go along, can't you? Yes, so that bit, yes, that's better, mummy. That bit goes like that. Let's try it again, guys, we'll see. We'll see over the next couple of months how this holds up, shall we? Let's see how this holds up. But generally, I find Fabri-Tac with the fabric pretty good. Yeah. Yes, that's it. It's a bit lower like that. Yep. And then just to even it back out down here. You know which way is that going? Yeah. So that's there. And that will come down here like so. Yep. It comes down here like so. So let's pop that there. And how's your weekend been, guys? Mine's been a busy one. First weekend that the kids have been back at college and at school. So it's kind of nice to get into a routine again. Now, hold on, let's pop that there like so. And that kind of just covers this little bit here. So you can see, I've tried to... Trying to stay true to my picture I've got that on the top there and this goes up like so yeah and then that goes up there like that so 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 I've picked up got some brads I've got my big book now let's see Let's move these up like so. Let me get my book. You always have your old book for popping underneath your work when you're going to use your awl. Like so. 
Here's my all. And just make sure let's let's just close it up like so. Uh, is it like that? Yep, yeah, that closes well. Oh, hold on. Let's not let's not do that. Let's not do the thing where I knock the camera over. So I've got three brads. I think I'm going to secure. That's really quite. Pop it there. Yeah. All right. Where shall we start? Shall we start? Let's start down here. Or shall I start? Actually, let's start down there. Let's start down here. So. Let's get that right. Oh, oh, the iPad going. That will secure them. Let's see, because I've got the lace on the back. Let's really put that down again. Try not to knock the camera over. So yeah, I've I've started to choose the pages. But I love the thought of the blue with the gold on this one, um, on the cover. And I've got some beautiful, oh, some really nice pages from my stash. There you go, let's pop that in like so. And then I will, there you go, just secure the bread like that. So securing the brad like so. Okay. And then here we go. We've got the next one. Oh probably actually let's just pop this one on. You might not want to. I might pop a couple more on just off camera. You might not find it fascinating to watch me do that all of them so that's what we're going for so let's pop that kind of like so I like it I want it to be ha um, sort of layering onto the actual cover as well and yes just literally almost on the edge right I tell you what we're going to start it there just so that that will it will cover oh, on that one. Pop the brad in, and I will keep trying, don't I? I do keep trying. I think that's going to work, guys. I think that's going to work. I might need to just do it a bit more. So yes, last year I did uh, the five months and because uh, I think I was so busy I've just joined the first collection for my first collection for Etsy but September I just used the end of my August book for my day book so we started with October and uh, we didn't get a September day book in the end and I loved adding bits to it and it got really really chunky so I'm going to indulge myself and have separate. So I think December, January, February will be really winter ones. This will be autumn. That looks pretty. And then I'm going to, I will secure more brads there, there and there. And I just thought across the back here, actually what we could do, let's just cut the muslin a little bit. What I could do is just, let's do that on tidy it up a little bit later you'll see that next time a bit tidier but do you think that's kind of straightened things out a little bit what do you think yeah quite happy with that quite happy with that um i may add to it i may i just may not so somewhere that's it that's the end uh, the the back of this uh so it's the inside end of the silk. I thought I'd pop a little pocket on the back. 
And it's nice because it's got the actual um, description label on the back. It's on like a papery card thing already. So I'm just going to fabric tack it down. Um, yeah, let's fabric tack it down as a little, um, what's the word? Um, pocket. A little uh, pocket. And then what I'll probably do is a really nice, um, some tags or little cards and I'll, pop, I'll s slot them in the back. So sort of decorative ones. We'll do that perhaps in the next video. Do that in the next video. Okay, guys. So there you go. That's going to be the. That is going to be the back pocket. And then I'll probably pop the camera on again. We'll do the inside pockets. And make a start on adding the pages. Let's try. Shall I try this time, guys, to actually make it straight? That'd be novel. So rubbish sometimes. But, you know, if it's for me, not a big deal. And as I hear some ladies say, you know, the imperfections of a junk journal. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. So that's back pocket. So I can pop little bits and pieces in as I fancy. Did you see there? Da, 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 da. In fact, I did get a couple of... Do you remember a few months ago, a lovely lady made me a journal and it was called mm, Butterflies and Flowers. And she had some beautiful tags with butterflies on. And I think a couple of those could quite easily find their way into the back of a book. So... There we have it guys, I'm going to start, I've got loads of beautiful pages that I want to uh, pop in here, some for this old ladybird book, um, look at this, look at that one, that's going to be featuring quite highly, paint swatches, um, a whole host of goodies, too numerous to mention, that I need to just start to cut down and put in, um, place in my book so you might do that on camera as well another day I'm gonna go I might not I might actually just do a couple already and then leave one to do on film with you guys just to show share the process right thank you guys for your um for putting up with me waffling on and um I hope you're having a really good day so next time I will hopefully be just putting some of the pages in, doing the inside pockets. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.